Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice Olympiad problem? Here we are finding the value of a and b where a is not equal to b. From here, let's subtract equation 2 from 1. So we have equation 1 minus 2. Then we we write equation 1 first. On the left hand side, we have equation 1 a square minus b. Then minus equation 2, we have minus into bracket b square minus a. Then equals to, on the right hand side, we subtract 1 run 11 minus 1 run 11, that gives us 0. And from here, we can open this bracket here with minus, and this becomes a square minus b, then minus b square plus a equals to 0. And from here, we take the squares together. And then we have a square minus b square. Then we write plus a first. Then minus b equals to 0. Then from here, we have power square. That is difference of two squares. So this can be factored as a plus b multiplied by a minus b. Then we have plus a minus b equals to 0. And we can also put this in bracket. Then we have a minus b common. Let's take it out and factor it out. And this becomes a minus b into bracket. What we have here is a plus b left. Then we have plus 1 left here equals to 0. And from here, we have two possible cases. We have a minus b equals to 0 or we have a plus b plus 1 equals to 0. From here, a will be equals to b. And uh, from the condition given in our problem, a is not equals to b. So therefore, here, a is not equals to b. Then on this side, let's take 1 to this side and this becomes a plus b equals to minus 1. Let's leave this as equation 3. Then, in the next step, we can add the two equations now. So, equation 1 plus equation 2. So, let's add on the right-hand side. We have right-hand side of equation 1. We have a square minus b square. Then, we add it with b square minus a. Then, this gives us a square minus b that's equation one then equation two we add that's plus b square minus a then equals to on the right hand side that's one 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 plus one 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 then from here as well we bring the squares together so we have a square plus b square then we have minus a then minus b equals to 222 the addition of these two then from here we can take minus a minus b to that side then this becomes a square plus b square will be equals to 222 then to become plus a then plus b and then we can substitute a plus b here now in equation three a plus b is minus 1. So when we substitute back, so we replace this as minus 1 and we have a square plus b square is equal to 222 minus 1. That will be 221. So label this one as equation 4. And uh, going back to equation 3 now, from equation 3, from 3, that is we have a plus b equals to minus 1. Then from here, we square both sides. Square this side, then we square this side. Then we expand this, and this will give us a square plus b square plus 2ab, which will be equals to minus 1 square is 1. Then we can substitute Equation 4 now in this place that is a square plus b square will give us 221. So now 
here is equal to 121. So 221 now plus 2ab is equal to 1. Take 221 here and this will give us 2ab left here. Then we equal to 1 minus 221. And this is 2ab equals to minus 220. And here we divide both sides by 2. And this will become AB left here equals to divide this by 2. This will give us minus 1 or 10. And from here, we can make A the subject. That is A here will give us minus 1 or 10 divided by B. So call this equation 5. And then we can substitute this equation 5 back in equation 3. That is from equation 3, we have a plus b equals to minus 1. Then substitute a now to be minus 10, minus 1 and 10 over b. So we have minus 1 and 10 now over b as a, then plus b equals to minus 1. Then from here, we have over 1 over 1 multiplied through by LCM here, which is b. Then this becomes here it will become minus 110 then plus here will be b squared then here will be minus b that is we clear the lca we clear the fraction with the lcm there then from here we rearrange and we form an equation and then this side we have b square then take minus b here that will be plus b then we have minus 110 left here equals to 0. Then from here, we can factorize this. And this will give us b squared plus 11b minus 10b minus 110 equals to 0. That is the sum of this. 11b minus 10b will give us plus b. Equally, when we multiply, it will give us minus 110. Then we factor this by grouping it to 2. So what is common here is B. Then we have B left, then plus 11. Then also we factor minus 10 out here. We have B left here, then plus 11 equals to 0. Then from here, we have B plus 11 common. We factor it out. Then B minus 10 left. Then equals to 0. So two cases here we have either b plus 11 equals to 0 or we have b minus 10 equals to 0. So from here b equals to minus 11 or b equals to 10 here. And equally from equation 3 we have a plus b equals to minus 1. And therefore, we can say a will be equal to minus 1 minus b. So, finding the value of a from here, we then have a to be equal to minus 1 minus b, then minus 11. Because b is minus 11 here, then this will give us a equals to minus 1 plus 11. Same thing as 11 minus 1, which is a equals to 10 from here. Then the solution a comma b from here will give us that's 10 comma minus 11. Then from the other side also we use this a equals to minus 1 minus b. So a will now be equals to minus 1 minus 10. So a from here is minus 11. And the solution here which is a comma b here we give us minus 11 that's a then comma 10 which is b so here we have these two solutions to the problem we can confirm this by substituting these values into the equation given you can please do that to confirm this problem thank you for watching please share this video and also click the tongue as in click the like button and subscribe please. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class. And bye for now.